I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on graphing linear equations. We are going to consider a few basic concepts of graphing linear equations and then we will take up examples based on the general forms of linear equations. Basically there are two. One we call slope intercept form and the other one is standard form. Now slope intercept form is y equals to mx plus b where m is the slope right of the line and b is y intercept the other form is the standard form which can be written as ax plus by normally we write c on this side but for graphing we prefer to write c on the right side of equal to sign so we'll use this form ax plus by equals to c uh, as a standard form to graph the linear equations now at the end we'll take a few examples now let's consider the basic concepts how to or what we need Yes, we definitely need a graph paper, pencil, ruler, things like that. But what we really need is two points. So we need one, either of these two things. Either we need slope and a point. Or what we need is two points. Now when I say slope and a point, any point can work, right? But we'll also work with a variation using this equation, uh, slope and y-intercept. So that is a special case. We'll take instead of any general point, y-intercept. And when we talk about two points, we'll take special case as x-intercept and y-intercept. So these are also two points, correct? So, so that way, these are the two specific conditions which help us to draw the lines or sketch the lines easily. Now I'm going to make uh, rough sketches, but what we need to know is we need to actually scale on coordinate plane. That is critical, right? So uh, for example, uh, let me just show the graph which we are going to use. We'll just make rough sketches like this. Let us say that two points are, let's say point A is 10, 20, right? And uh, point B is, let us say, 30 minus 10. Now, if these are the points, we should actually take a proper scale so that you know each division uh, could be let's say 10 units so normally you will see on a graph we always write one two three four but remember uh, depending on the points we have to scale the graph properly so that's what i mean when i say scale right so i hope you got it so I'll just illustrate. So horizontal axis will be the x axis where the first coordinate point will go and the y axis will be the vertical axis. So any point in general P will be written as x, y. Now x is along the horizontal. So in this case A is 10, 20. So we'll go 10 units to the right, 20 up we get a point here this point is a then we have 30 minus 10 three units going down we will give you the second point b now to just 
graph linear equation you need to join these two right so you can just join them and remember line extends in both directions so draw arrows on both the directions do you get the idea so using any two points that is the basic concept and as you can see critical thing here is to use proper scale correct now let's take up some simple examples based on our linear equations and sketch few graphs well first take slope intercept form so if i'm given equation of the line as y equals to mx plus b m as you know will give us the slope and b will provide the y intercept so let's take an example like y equals to 2x plus 1 now it means what let me graph here and show it to you now these are small numbers we'll take 1 2 3 as on our scale right so minus 1 1 and minus 1 let me extend this part now when I say that the line is y equals to 2x plus b in that case what we clearly know is y intercept is 1 so in this case what we know is that y intercept is when I say 1 it means x coordinate is 0 and y coordinate is 1 where the graph crosses y axis right so this is your y axis this is x axis so graph will cross the y axis at y equals to 1 that means this point y equals to 1 right so this is 0 now slope of this line is 2 when I say slope I mean rise over run so 2 means you rise by 2 units and run by 1 so that really means that starting from your y intercept one point which is given to us rise means change in y so you go up one two so that is two units up and now one unit run means this is positive right so one unit means one is like this so you get to the second point do you see that now when you join these two points then you actually get your lines so joining these two points let me just extend the line now these graphs are a bit approximate since I am illustrating how to graph without a graph paper right so that becomes your line y equals to 2x plus 1 does it make sense then join these two points any line will always go through minimum two points and there are infinite points on this line you get an idea right so that is how you could simply sketch your line now let's take another example this time let me use some fractions so I'll write y equals to minus let's take minus right minus 2 over 3 x uh, and say plus plus 3 or let's say plus 2 okay let's take plus 2 now that really means that the y intercept is plus 2 and slope is minus 2 over 3 getting back to our scale 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 just equally spaced marks right now each unit is 1 for me okay now we'll begin with the y intercept 2 right so this point basically is 0 2 if I write 0 for x 
then y is equal to 2. Does it make sense? If I write 0 for x, then y is equal to 2. Perfect. So that point is right there. Y intercept of 2. Now we have to look into slope which is rise over run. So we are saying that m is minus 2 over 3. Minus 2 means go down by 2 units. So we will go down by 2 units. 1 and 2. That is minus 2. Do you see that? Minus 2 means go down by 2 units. And 3 is positive. So we will go run. That is run. Okay. So 3 units. So we will go from here. 1, 2 and 3. So we reach the second point which happens to be the x intercept. So our line is going to cross the x axis at this point. Joining these two with a straight line, we get our graph, right? So we get a graph which is kind of like this. Arrows on both the ends, this point is 3. Does it make sense to you, right? So we have sketched a line with a negative slope this time. Correct? Now you could practice with some examples. Let me write down here examples for you. So y equals to, let us say, half x minus 1, right? Or we can have y equals to 3x plus 2. So similarly, you can have many different examples. So y equals to 2 over 3x a minus 2. So these are different examples which you could try. Let me just show you quickly how to do the first one, which is y equals to half x minus 1. So minus 1 is the y-intercept. Half means go up by 1 unit. And 2 means run by 2 units. So we go 1, 2. So that is your second point. When you join these two points, you get your lines. Let me use a different ink this time. So these are the two points for us. So when you join them, we get a line. So this line corresponds to y equals to half x minus 1. Right? So, so I hope you got the concept. Let me summarize how to sketch these lines. We have two steps. Step one, that is to plot y-intercept, which is the value b, right? This is clearly written in the equation. You could always go to that point. And step two will be rise over run rise over run right so rise over run which is given by the slope m perfect to get the second point and then step three join the two points with a straight line. Perfect. So that is how you have to sketch a line using slope intercept form of the equation. Now let's take up the second form of the equation which is standard form. Now we will see how to sketch lines using standard form of equation. Let's take few examples. Let's write down one equation as 2x plus 3y equals to 6 and we'll take another one as uh, let's say 10x minus 15y equals to 30 and we'll try to see how to sketch these lines. The concept here is to find x-intercept and y-intercept. Now x-intercept and y-intercept will be two points for us. Right? Now when I say x-intercept, it really means 
a point where the line crosses x-axis so at that point y equals to 0 so if I substitute y equals to 0 here I get 2x plus 3 times 0 equals to 6 now this is 0 right so we get 2x equals to 6 or x is equals to 6 divided by 2 which is 3 so the point which you have got is 3 0 so that becomes your x intercept now how do we find y intercept to find y intercept we substitute x equals to 0 in the equation so we get 2 times 0 plus 3y equals to 6 so that gives us 3y equals to 6 or y equals to 6 over 3 which is 2 so the y intercept is x is 0 and y is 2 you get an idea right so that is the calculation which you have to do so that is the calculation which you have to do to find x and y intercepts once you have done that you can actually sketch the graph so let me just sketch a graph here we know two points 3 0 let's say 1 2 3 4 so that is 3 0 the x intercept 0 2 the y intercept 0 2 so that is the second y point so if the scale is 1 and 1 so that point gives us 3 0 and this is 0 2 so joining these two points will give us the line which represents the given equation correct so that is how you sketch your line is it clear so i like you to go through this process of finding x and y intercepts and then sketching the line i like you to do this example you can pause the video answer the question and then see if you could really sketch you may have to scale properly right so so to find the x intercept what are you going to do for x intercept you will substitute y equals to 0 so if you substitute y equals to 0 you get 10x equals to 30 or x is equals to 3 right to find the value of y intercept well put x equals to 0 right so substituting x equals to 0 what do you get x is 0 you can minus 15 y equals to 30 y equals to 30 divided by minus 15 which is negative 2 so we have x intercept of 3 y intercept of minus 2 it really means that on the graph when we draw our coordinate axes, let's say these are the x, y values. x values are 1, 2, 3, 4, let's say, negative values. Okay. So x intercept is 3, that means 1, 2, 3 is where the line will cross the x axis. y intercept being minus 2, which is here. So joining these two points, we actually get our line. Do you see that? So let's join these two points and we get a line which is as shown here. So this is the x-axis, that is the y-axis. It's good to label the scale. Right, so these are important things to label. Then you can easily sketch your line. So I hope these two steps are absolutely clear. So these steps involved here are step number one find x and y intercepts, right? To find x intercept, you substitute y equals to zero, kind of hide it, and then divide six by two, you get the value of x intercept, which is three. To find y intercept, hide the x value, it becomes 0, right? So you get y equals to 3 times 2 is 6. Plot these two points and sketch your graph. So I hope that is absolutely clear. Now at times, you can be given equation as this 
let's say we say 2x minus 4y plus let's say 8 equals to 0 we may have to rearrange it right so so we may write it as 2x minus 4y equals to minus 8 and then find x and y intercepts correct so the x intercept will be hide this value divide minus 8 by 2 so we get minus 4 and to get y intercept height x x becomes 0 minus 8 divided by minus 4 is 2 so that will be the two points of your interest so this particular line will kind of look like this uh, minus 4 somewhere here and uh, I'm sorry, minus 1, 2, 3, 4, the x-intercept of minus 4, y-value of 2, right? So these are the two points for the given line, which, let me just sketch it here. Join it, right? So that is how you could do an equation which is given in standard form, where c is on the left side of the equation, right? So I hope that covers most of the cases. Now we'll take some examples which are kind of typical. Now here are a few examples for you. So I'll write down these questions. I'd like you to sketch these lines on a graph paper. The first one is, we are saying line. Let's call this line as L1, which goes through two points, point A being 2 minus 3 and point B being minus 3 2 so that is line 1 now you have to sketch line L2 which is y equals 2 let's say 2x line 3 we'll take up line as x minus 2y equals to 4 and line L4 is a very special line. I'm writing this as x is equal to 3, right? So these are the three lines which I would like you to, rather four lines, which I like you to sketch. You can always pause the video and uh, sketch the lines and then check with my solution. So let's say this is the coordinate plane. I've taken numbers involving smaller numbers, so one scale will work for us. And we are going to sketch all these lines in just one graph paper, right? Okay. Let me add one more line to this list. Uh, you will understand why am I doing so. We'll write this line as line L5 equals to y equals to let's say uh, minus minus three okay so these are five different lines which we'll sketch one by one the very first one goes through two points a and b point a being two minus three so that is two and one two three so that is the point two minus three right and point b is minus three two one two three minus 3 and 2. Now joining these two we get our line. So, so let me sketch this line kind of like this. Okay. So this is my line L1. Let me call this as L1. The given points are 2 minus 3 and point B which is minus 3 2 right this is point a for us okay let's do the next line which is y equals to 2x now that is 2x means if x is 0 y is 0 so it goes through origin this is like a direct variation right slope is 2 so one point which we have got is when x is 0 y is 0 that is how we get a point in this case now, if x is 1, y is 2. If x is 2, y is 4. So, we can get a couple of points. So, joining these points, we get our line, which is kind of like this, slope being 2. So, this is y equals to 2x. This is our line 2. 
it goes through origin so at times when y intercept is not given to us you can take some values of x and that will give you values of y is that clear now let's take the third example where we are given in standard form you need to find x and y intercepts x minus 2y equals to 4 so if y equals to 0 we get x equals to 4 right and if x equals to 0 in that case we get y equals to minus 2 4 divided by minus 2 so you have to hide this and then divide negative 2 right so the x and y intercepts for us are 4 and minus 2 1 2 3 4 is the x intercept minus 2 join these two to get the line 3 you get an idea right now the last two are very typical lines these are horizontal and vertical lines now can you tell me which one is horizontal which one is vertical now when I say x equals to 3 it really means that for all values x is 3 so this is the value 3 right 1 2 and this is 3 x equals to 3 means a vertical line where always the coordinate x is 3 so this is what is x equals to 3 so this one is a vertical line the last one here is y value is minus 3 so always you have to have y of minus 3 so we have minus 1 here minus 2 minus 3 y being minus 3 will be a horizontal line going through the y intercept at minus 3 do you see this that becomes a horizontal line I like you to take few more examples to practice and I'll also provide you with a link which will help you to master the technique of graphing linear equations. I hope these examples help you. Feel free to write your comments, share your views and if you like and subscribe to my videos that will be great. Thanks for watching and all the best. Right. So this is L5 and the vertical line for us is L4. Thank you.